Here's a silver lining of the pandemic. Saves me a little bit of embarrassment. I can conceal my identity when I'm buying Trumu uh, in public. This is the Trumu episode. Trumu episode. Ooh. Sounds sinister. Anyway, I'm here in Wheaton, I think, at uh, Herrick Lake Forest Preserve. It's a really nice area. And the leaves are popping and people are taking pictures. It's a little bit chilly. But we're here to talk about chocolate milk, as usual. So every once in a while I get an email or a, a message saying, yeah, have you have you tried Trumu? Uh, which I always find kind of funny because for those of you maybe who aren't in the United States or familiar with Trumu, it's kind of the de facto chocolate milk in the United States. I think it's in all 50 states and uh, you, know, you just go to some random supermarket in a small town in Wyoming and they'll likely have Trumu. Just got the Don supermarket here in Gillette, Wyoming. And it's the type of place where the record the record scratches when you walk in and uh, record scratches again when you walk out uh, without having bought anything. Uh, just true moo and best choice. So it's very available and I would say that availability is probably its best attribute. I've got the, the three most popular ones that you'll see in the stores here. Uh, the, the regular 1% low fat, the high protein version, which is also low fat, and the whole chocolate milk. So we're gonna have them, we'll try them on the spot here. There's also a few other versions which we'll talk about later. Just for a little bit of background, Trumu for years was owned by Dean Foods, uh, which is a huge dairy conglomerate in the United States. They, over the years, I think, snapped up a lot of once local and regional dairies and uh, kind of incorporated them into the Trumu system. So you'll always see a lot of different brands. Your, your local brand that you grew up with might uh, have been subsumed by Trumu. I don't know if that's even a word. About a year ago in November of 2019, Dean Foods filed for bankruptcy. And I think since then, most of their assets were purchased by DFA, uh, Dairy Farmers of America, who I think are now probably operating it. I don't know how well they're doing, this was 50% off. Uh, bought this this morning at Jewel. Yeah, let's have a go with it. So this is the 1%. And this, again, to me, is almost the, the definition of a 5.0. Uh, uh, just a, a straight down the middle, average chocolate milk. If I was to have this blindfolded, I'd almost be tempted to give it like a 4.5 because it is, it's got a little bit of a watery taste to it. And it's not quite what I would expect average to be, but you know, it is what it is. So this bothers me a little bit and I'll, I'll put a close up on the ingredients. The ingredients are low fat milk, liquid sugar, and then in parentheses, sugar and water. I feel like that's a little bit, I don't know, underhanded. I don't know if it's purposely so that liquid sugar is the second ingredient, not water as the second ingredient, which wouldn't look so good if someone looked at the ingredients. You know, is it watered down chocolate milk? You could argue that it is. Yeah, it's super average, not a very strong cocoa flavor. I guess an average cocoa flavor, uh, averagely creamy. It's just kind of average in most respects and it doesn't really excite you one way or the other, but it does, it is noticeably chocolate milk if you have it. I'm at Tom's Market in Traverse City. What's the odds you're gonna have something here I haven't seen? Unlikely, but you never know. I don't like the word meats and seafoods I think is also pretty redundant. I think seafood without the S uh, is good enough. Well, that'll throw you off. Thought we had one there. But no, it's just Tom Sticker over True Move. Yeah, nothing else new. Oh well. Byron Center meats. I hate the word meats. It's irrelevant, it's unnecessary to have the S on it. I think meat is an un, already an unspecified quantity of it. Anyway. There's no avoiding the meats thing. It's like, just a constant thorn in my side, I guess. There it is again. Okay, one of the other more common ones you'll see is this True Moo high protein, which is also low fat. Uh, it, it tastes noticeably better than the regular low fat chocolate milk from Trumu uh, because it's got a much stronger 
salty and malty sort of quality to it. Again, it's not very chocolatey at all. If you were expecting this to be super chocolatey, I, you might want to kind of reconsider your expectations for things. Uh, it's not that, but it is nicely flavorful for what it is. Got a, a starchier body to it, and I think that's due to the protein isolate that's in there. But flavor-wise, I 100% prefer this over the regular True Mousse. So this does, in my estimation, taste better than average. Yeah, if you like a salty, maltier sort of a flavor, uh, it's definitely that, and it's pleasant for what it is, for sure. Okay, and the last of this bunch is the, the whole chocolate milk. But again, milk, liquid sugar, sugar, water, and blah, blah, blah. And the last ingredient is non-fat milk, which is interesting to me because it comes in even after salt, carrageenan, natural flavor, and then non-fat milk. So there must be a tiny, a tiny amount uh, that they put back in. I don't know if that's to combat the water that's added or what. It says rich and creamy. Eh, it's creamy enough. Is it rich? I don't know, not really. It sort of tastes like a slightly blander version of the protein one, where it's kind of on that saltier, maltier side, which is, you know, it's pleasant. For a whole chocolate milk, I feel like this is kind of on the lower echelon from a flavor standpoint. Doesn't really ring chocolate at all, but it is sweet. 390 calories for this whole thing. Yeah, you could find a better way to spend 390 calories, but you know, it tastes decent enough. And uh, it's certainly the best of the True Moo bunch. You know, I do prefer this over the protein one a little bit, I think, just due to the creamier body of it. It's not as uh, powdery and starchy. Okay, so those are the three most common uh, types of True Moo that you'll find in stores, again, everywhere in the United States. If you're lucky, and by lucky I mean unlucky, you'll come across some of the fat-free True Moo. Okay, so the epitome of a fool's errand is going around to every place and having such a low success rate in finding new chocolate milk or chocolate milk that I haven't previously found yet, still going to as many places as I can to find chocolate milk. Uh, and also, you know, it's, it's a fool's errand to think that I'm going to get every chocolate milk in the world, though I'm certainly gonna try. So a while back I was contacted by someone who asked if I would review uh, fat-free True Moo in a carton, like the institutional carton that you might see at a school or uh, a prison. <laughs> Definitely, if they have chocolate milk in prison, this is probably what it is. And I had assumed like, oh, I, let me just search my archives, I'm sure I've done it. Uh, because I've seen it in certain places. Well, as it turns out, I haven't had it. So, recently I've seen this product at Ikea of all places. We keep moving and uh, having moved up to the Chicago area recently, we had to stop at Ikea to get some rugs and whatever else. So now, going on, uh, a trip just to Ikea solely for fat-free chocolate milk in a carton, which I mean, that's a, a fool's errand if I've ever heard of one. And, uh, you know, driving quite a ways out of your way to get something that you know is going to suck. Uh, I've certainly done that before and I will do it again. Well, Ikea is known for a lot of things. Chocolate milk's not one of them. Uh, so let's go find out why. we can call this successful. Once you get over the initial embarrassment of buying three of them, I guess convincing someone, whoever's watching, probably nobody, that you like this stuff. Cheers. Yeah. Actually, not much of a cartony taste, which you get sometimes in these institutional ones, but it's, I mean, blindfolded, it, uh, doesn't taste really like chocolate at all. You might think it's even white milk, slightly sweetened, I guess. Yeah, again, low expectations, and it lived up to them. So what can you say? Should've just bought two, why'd I get three? I don't know. There's no assembly required, fortunately, but I did have to walk through the whole downstairs gauntlet to get out. Just two chocolate milks now. Didn't finish the first one, but come on, Ikea, your customers deserve better. School kids deserve better. Everyone deserves better than this soulless crap. Non-fat milk, liquid sugar, it contains less than 1% of cocoa. I mean, like you have to say, it contains less than 1% cocoa. 
barely even registers. It tastes more like a, uh, like the sweet part of, uh, of an envelope when you lick an envelope, which for what it is, is kind of enjoy one of those oddly enjoyable things. But not in liquid form and not when you're expecting chocolate milk or when you're kind of told it's chocolate milk. It's a fail. Sorry, True Moon. So a couple of years ago, and I don't know if it's still out, I haven't seen it in stores here in Illinois, uh, but True Moo came out with an after dark, uh, like two, two or three special edition flavors, and two of them were chocolate. Uh, so I did pick those up uh, what time when I was in Harrisburg. So let's cut back to that. Okay, the gorgeous background of I-81 here in central PA. I saw a new product in the stores, and uh, I guess there's always innovation in chocolate milk. And this is True Moo After Dark. This is dark chocolate salted caramel from True Moo. Rich and creamy in its whole milk. Wow, you know, it's got a really strong salty punch. It, it's more salty caramel than it is chocolate, or dark chocolate for that matter. But with subsequent, subsequent sips, you kind of warm up to it a little bit. It's a little bit shocking at first, but it gets better uh, as you go along. So it's not bad at all. You know, I know salted caramel has been around for a while. I don't think it's like a cutting edge flavor or anything like that, but this is a new product. So kudos to them for trying something new. And this one is Mexican style chocolate milk. Now, what does Mexican style mean? I've done some extensive chocolate milk searching in Mexico City. And I never saw this flavor profile. It is uh, cinnamon and chili pepper and chocolate. Now, Nesquik in Mexico and in Spain has cinnamon in it. It is noticeable, but it's not overpowering. But the chili pepper, I'm interested in, in trying this. Wow, you know, it's not a profile that I would necessarily go for. It doesn't really appeal to me. The cinnamon and the chocolate never was a thing of mine. But I must say it's executed exceptionally well here. I mean, maybe the best part is the late heat you get off of the pepper. It's not a lot. It might be a little bit spicy for the you know, people up in northern Minnesota or something like that where ketchup is spicy. But you know, the cinnamon is not overpowering, so you do get some cinnamon, some chocolate, and the chili pepper, which kind of comes in uh, the latter half of the sip and, and leaves you with a little bit of a, not a burn, uh, but you can feel it. It's actually really nice. That's actually quite good. It's a lot better than I expected it to be. And whoever came up with this concoction, I, th I think really nailed it. If this flavor profile at all appeals to you, definitely check this stuff out. Being True Moo distributed by Gene Foods, I would assume you'd be able to get it in most major metro areas, unless they're test marketing it here in Pennsylvania, which I don't think would be that smart because there's so much other good chocolate milk here. Okay, so that wraps up the True Moo episode. Um, I don't, what's true about it, I'm not super sure. It does sound kind of snappy, uh, but there, there is water in it, and that's true. It's damn true. Oh, it's true! the one that sucks. You people are the ones that suck. True Moo was for so many years owned by, sorry, a bug just landed on there. They do have jokes on the side of them, I guess for the kids. Why did the child stare intently at the carton of orange juice? Because it said concentrate, oh God. Why did the chicken do jumping jacks? She wanted scrambled eggs.